Well, hello there, folks. Welcome to Food Time and Garden. I'm Laura, and I want to talk to you today about why am I growing rutabagas? I've never grown rutabagas before. Do you talk to your plants? Do they answer you? Do you smile when you see them? Did you know the difference between a rutabaga and a turnip? I didn't. Now I do. Oh, the rutabaga, the happy rutabaga. I am going to do a little experiment for the next few weeks and grow these seedlings in water with liquid fertilizer. I replanted a bunch of seedlings and I thought, why am I trying to grow a root vegetable when I want to grow lettuce, spinach, chives, beans, things that grow quickly on my indoor grow space? But I couldn't bear to throw these little precious seedlings away. The grand rutabaga that's so misunderstood. People don't know how to cook with it. They look at it in the grocery stores and they go, what the heck is this? You know, I mean, I don't know if everybody does that, but I did. So I put the seedlings in my neti cup with some water and a little bit of fertilizer, and I was going to deal with them later. But I ran out of soil because I only have a minimum amount of soil. So I'm going to just see how long I can keep them alive in this water with a little bit of fertilizer and see how they do. Now, typically, root vegetables <laughs> are not necessarily hydroponic <laughs> friendly. Um, you definitely can't grow a potato because you wind up with a stinky mess. But I have a cactus that is keeping my rutabaga seedlings company when I can't be there to check on them every morning. Do you talk to your plants? Do you breathe on your plants? I do. I talk to my plants. And my cactus shows my plants a little bit of love and company when I'm not around. Yes, this particular video is nothing really serious. It's just thoughts to ponder that I've been pondering because I've been in this house for three straight weeks. I have not been outside other than to open the door and let my dog out. I don't even want to know what's outside in my backyard because six months of winter and each time the dog goes out and does a number two well you know you pet owners know i don't typically dig through the snow to pick it up so a whole six month worth is out there and uh no folks i'm not going out there i'm gonna stay indoors like they're telling us to do and talk to my plants and monitor my cactus to make sure it's not poking my rutabaga because they have to become best friends. Am I losing my mind? Has this isolation made me tip over the edge of a clip that I just don't know? No, actually, I haven't. I thought I would run this little test just to see. I can't throw these little seedlings out, so I'm going to see what happens. Uh, I may transfer them over to the pot that has the radishes growing when they're done, if they survive that long. I did, however, sacrifice my pineapple plant that I've been growing since 2016 because I needed the soil out of that big planter. But... I washed off the roots and I put it into a jar of water with a wee bit of fertilizer, not a lot. Can you grow a pineapple plant or can you keep a pineapple plant living without soil? I don't think so, but who knows? So my interest today is the grand rutabaga. So let's, let's just ponder. I'm sorry for the clarity, but I'm filming my screen. And for some reason, I can't seem to type properly today, but can I grow, oops, can I, oops, can I grow, find that R, Laura, find it, rutabagas, nope, wrong, take it away, <laughs> can
Can I find? Oh, by George, she got it. Can I grow rutabagas in water? Let's see what they said. Growing rutabagas, how to grow them. They didn't say you can grow them in water. They did say increase the water retention and add more air circulation. Hmm, I wonder if mine will grow in the water okay. I just don't know. Can rutabagas seedlings survive in a dish of water? Let's see what they say. And survey says, survey says, how to grow turnips and rutabagas. Freezing, which preserves the most nutrition. Rutabaga horticultural. Horticultural. Can't talk despite my face. Okay, next question. Next question, Laura. Come on, get those fingers moving. It's not like you've been working. Why am I trying to grow rutabagas in the first place? <laughs> Ah, oh, poor Google. They have no idea. Somebody else asked the question too. I don't feel so bad now. Do you talk to your boyfriend every day? Your mother with that mouth? Your husband with your period? About your period? Your neighbors? Oh, that's not it. Do you talk to your rutabagas <laughs> seedlings let's see what google says do you talk to your rutabaga seedlings video results how to start seeds for seed planting okay folks this has been fun but i am losing my flip Bing, flipping mind. <laughs> and Google's, I am losing my flipping mind. I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> my solution is keep smiling, it increases your weight, no, your face value. Yes, that is what I always say to myself. Keep smiling. And survey says, smile and increases your face value. Quote by Dolly Parton. Oh, Dolly. <laughs> she sure knows how to give us smiles. And this goes into conversations with me, myself, and I. <laughs> no, conversations with my grandmother. She was in her 80s when she passed away, back in the 80s. And if she lived in this day and age, with the technology we have now, would be a hoot. Instagram. Grandma, what do you think about Instagram? She says, well, I don't know how many people would still use telegrams, and I don't even know if an office would be available to us these days. Grandma, what do you think about Zoom? Well, I just don't know, she would say. People just tend to drive way too fast down the highways these days. I'm afraid to get in the car and drive. Twitter. Grandma, what do you think about Twitter? Have you ever used Twitter? Well, I just don't know. They used to be simultons. You know, they, they possibly didn't finish elementary school. And we used to call them little twits, which wasn't very nice. So I must, uh, I must ask for forgiveness for that way of thinking because I'm not a mean person. Grandma, what do you think about cell phones? Well, I just don't know what people are doing carrying around those contraptions and how do they work. I mean, it's not plugged in. Grandma, what do you think about call forwarding on your telephone? Call forwarding? She says, we used to have the party line, and I'd 
be able to listen to Jane, Sue, and Marge talking about their husbands and what they've been up to. Grandma, what do you think about caller ID? Well, caller ID. The phone rings. I answer it and I say hello. And the person on the other end lets me know who's calling me. Caller ID. Just a few moments of haha, -ha, my dear friends, to lighten up your day and show you a picture of my deck today. The snow is all melted and pollen is in the air, so everybody's sneezing. Luckily, I found the complete guide to home repair and improvement. Who knows what I might be up to in the near future because I can only look at my 2020 seed catalog for so long. I might just fix something, but I think I'll ponder over it for a little bit. Take care, dear friends. Stay safe. Be well. Virtual hugs to everyone who gets this far in this video. Bye for now. And remember, keep a smile on that face.